in a darkened corner of some unsuspecting driftwood, something pretty spectacular is happening. The Blades of Midas, my pet spiny ant colony, is launching a major home construction project. As soon as I saw this, I instantly jumped up to grab my camera because it's a process I myself have never seen before. And I really wanted you guys to see it too. So see this ant here? She's carrying a huge rice husk, which is heavier than herself, which the ants are using as building material. And with this material, the ants are creating these cool curtains that drape down around the outside of their current nest. And these cool curtains of rice are all crafted by these. The ants larvae. So that white maggot looking thing is a mature larva of these spiny ants. But before they are about to pupate and become adult worker ants, these mature larvae serve a vital purpose in the world of these ants. And that is to spin the silk needed to glue the building materials of their home together. These ants on this special night have made the collective decision to build an expansion to their grand nest, which exists at the heart of a giant mountain of driftwood. And these spiny ant teenagers will be undergoing their awesome rite of passage as they contribute to the survival of their whole colony, spinning the webs that build their grand castle and home. Turns out spiders aren't the only creatures to evolve the ability to spin webs. And today, you will be mind blown by what the final product of this amazing ant structure of webs looks like. Welcome to the Ants Canada Ant Channel. Enjoy! AC Family, today we're going to watch as our Blades of Midas, our new spiny ant colony, constructs an add-on to their ever-growing nest. As mentioned, this is an amazing process I personally have never seen before and haven't even seen videos of yet. So what we're about to see today with these ants is truly something special. But guys, keep on watching until the end because I have an important question to ask you and will be needing your valuable advice regarding these ants. Because as you know, I consider the beloved ants on this channel to be all of ours, not just mine. Now before we continue to watch the ants web spinning process and behold the final product of all this web building, for those of you who are new to the channel, let me introduce you real quick to these truly spectacular pet ants of ours. We the AC family name them via a mass vote to be called the Blades of Midas. They're a species belonging to a genus of spiny ants known as Polyrachis. And this particular species of spiny ants possess an amazing body shape of black spines and golden shiny gasters. They came to us over a month ago in a plastic container where the colony was collected and living in some crumpled paper towel. We started with about 200 or so ants and in the colony exist several egg-laying queens. We then proceeded to build an epic home for the Blades of Midas, a forest floor terrarium we called Polyraxia, full of plants, rocks, driftwood, dried mosses, and digging medium consisting of soil, gravel, and lots and lots of rice husk. I purposely incorporated rice husk during the terrarium building process to give the ants material to build their epic nests, which I knew were basically masses of debris. Whatever materials the ants could collect from their environment, all glued together using the silk from their larvae. Now I was truly excited to watch these ants construct these debris nests because I've only seen wild, already constructed spiny ant nests, and there were always these breathtaking structures of mud and sticks. It boggled my mind to imagine how the ants would build these mud and debris nests, which was much different from regular ants that simply build tunnels in soil. So I watched our Blades of Midas closely every day, hoping to catch them nest building in Polyraxia. But to my surprise, for weeks, the ants didn't build. I so badly wanted to see the ants handling their larvae to glue a nest together using rice husk. I never saw such a process. But the ants were truly sneaky. Imagine my surprise when I discovered, totally by accident, that the ants had built an entire nest structure into one of the driftwood pieces, right under my nose. 
without me noticing. They used the dried moss to create an amazing nest for themselves. I was super happy the ants settled into Polyraxia and promised myself to look more closely next time to hopefully catch them nest building. But then one day, I noticed the ants had built themselves a nest extension, a basement to their lair. This time they had used the rice husk to construct a lower extension to their nest. This was exciting because a nest extension meant the colony was growing. But a bummer to know that I had missed the building process yet again. I really wanted to see the ants nest build, and I vowed to one day catch them in the act. Which brings us, AC family, to one special night this week. I peeked into the nest and shouted when I saw these curtains of rice husk dangling from the driftwood. This was awesome! We could finally watch our Blades of Midas in nest building action. The first thing that occurred to me while watching the ants construct was that the ants were very proficient at creating these curtains and also traveling up and down these curtains carrying the silk producing larvae. It was amazing to note that evolution had given ants and some other insects the ability to spin silk for the purpose of creating cocoons for protection of the pupae during development. But in these spiny ants, the web spinning function had evolved further into home building. Inside the nests, when the ants are done nest building and they aren't needed for gluing things together anymore, the larvae go on to spin their own cocoons to proceed with the pupation process to become adult ants. Now, as you can imagine, building an entire add-on to your home is no easy feat. And for these ants, it indeed requires some very important prep. Check out what these ants needed to do before deciding to launch such a nest building operation. It's feeding time, ladies. Come and get it. Now, these ants have been eating a lot these past few weeks. I've been giving them five lat roaches a day, which they relish graciously. I offer the roaches pre-chopped to expose the soft inner guts within, which the ants devour cum gusto. Like a pack of wolves, the ants come swarming round, filling up their social stomachs with roach meat to take home to feed to the rest of the colony. I find the ants consume some parts of the outer exoskeleton, but they mostly eat the soft guts. All of this valuable protein and other nutrients acquired from the roach meat, as well as the roaches' previous meals, because I do gut load my roaches, go on to nourish the entire colony. More importantly, the queens, who all lay the eggs to expand the colony and create more larvae for nest building, but also to nourish the larvae themselves, so they can become super producers of silk. Building a new wing to your ant nest requires some serious silk, so eating these roaches is vital to the nest building process. Another thing the ants need is sugar. In the wild, these ants get their sugar from farming plant insects, which pee out a sweet liquid known as honeydew. But in Polyraxia, they get their sugar from a test tube, which you see here. I basically just mix white sugar and water and place them into these test tubes with a cotton blocker and the ants finish it in a few days. But lately they've been finishing their sugar water in just under two days. Now I know why. They needed the energy to nest build. In fact, as you can see here, the ants have went on to build a sort of tunnel from the main nest to their sugar water test tube. So the ants didn't need to even emerge from their protective nest. So smart. It made me wonder if spiny ants do this in the wild building their mud nests over their plant insects, like building a massive sheltered area for their ant cows. They've even used pulled out cotton fibers as building material for their nest walls. Pretty resourceful, ladies. I watched the ants continue to build their awesome nest extension through the night 
for several hours until I couldn't stay awake anymore. I felt grateful to have been able to catch them in the process this time, and I just couldn't wait to see the final product by morning. The next day, I approached Polyraxia and peeked into the nest. And voila! Their new nest extension was complete! AC family, what do you think? It looks pretty solid, right? Looking closer, I could see that the ants had definitely added a lot of rice husk to the initial curtain structures, which went on to become the solid walls of their new nest addition. Just awesome! After thinking about it for a while, building this lower part was pretty ingenious, because I knew that any moisture from the ground would wick upwards or evaporate into the chambers of this lower nest part, humidifying the ants' home perfectly. These ants were master architects. Also pretty amazing was that the ants had indeed fortified the tunnel leading to the sugar test tube. Good going, girls! As I continued to watch the ants living in Polyraxia, my heart was so full. I was so happy that we finally were able to witness and record the nest building process of these spiny ants, something that not everyone gets to see every day, since it happens out in nature in the secret and private lives of these spiny ants. And this AC family is why I just love being an ant keeper. We provide the ants the best living conditions and resources they need to do their thing and thrive. And in return, we get a sneak peek at their truly incredible and mind-blowing lives. And I'm honestly so blessed that you all have witnessed it today with me. Now, as mentioned at the start of the video, I would be asking you guys a question regarding these spiny ants. And it's this, what should we name their nest? I wanted to give their ever-growing and expanding nest an official name too. Kind of like naming their grand palace. Let me know your name suggestions in the comments, and I will choose my top 5 favorites for all of us to vote on in a future video. Also, before we go, I know a lot of you have been wanting to try keeping ants as well. And I've got some pretty great news for those of you wanting to get into the hobby. Did you know that it's anting season in the Northern Hemisphere? And you don't even need to leave your home to start an ant colony. You can catch pregnant queen ants from the safety of your own backyard, balcony, or open window starting this month. Be sure to visit AntsCanada.com for all your ant keeping and collecting gear shipped to you in a special package from our ant loving facility in the USA. So you can get the most out of your ant keeping experience. We ship worldwide and also offer full email support if you need our help. We also have a helpful forum and ant colony trading marketplace on the site. Visit AntsCanada.com today. And before we go, for those of you who enjoy just ant watching as much as I do, I have left a hidden cookie for you here, leading to a hidden video where you can just watch the entire process of nest building to the sounds of some relaxing music. Go check it out. So AC family, until the next time that we visit the majestic lands of Polyraxia, thank you all so much for watching and supporting the ants. It's ant love forever.